Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Tonight we're diving headfirst into a geopolitical tech thriller that's more dramatic than an episode of Succession with twice the awkward family dinner moments. Buckle up as we unpack the escalating chip war between China and Japan. Imagine this, two tech titans locked in a battle for supremacy, their weapons, not missiles or tanks, but tiny silicon chips, the unsung heroes powering everything from your smartphone to self-driving cars. This isn't some sci-fi movie, it's happening right now. The stakes, global tech dominance, economic stability, and maybe even the future of artificial intelligence. Intrigue? You should be. Let's go. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Remember last year when the US started putting restrictions on selling advanced chips to China? Well, they've just added a new player to their team, Japan. That's right, the land of the rising sun just threw some shade on China's chip-making ambitions. Japan's new rules restrict the export of 23 types of chip-making equipment. It's like refusing to sell ovens to a bakery that's getting a little too good at making bread. Except in this case, the... Bread is a supercomputer and the bakery is a rising superpower. China is not happy about being left out of the chip party. They see these restrictions as an attempt to stifle their technological rise and maintain us dominance in the tech world. But why is everyone so obsessed with these chips? China isn't taking this chip blockade lying down. In fact, they're gearing up for a significant counter move. They fired back with a warning shot potential economic retaliation. This isn't just a minor threat, it's a strategic maneuver that could have far-reaching consequences. Think of it like this, you and your friend are arguing over the last slice of pizza. The stakes are high and neither of you wants to back down. Your friend tries to grab it so you threaten to never share your toys again. This isn't just about the pizza, it's about setting a precedent for future interactions. Except in this scenario, the toys are rare earth minerals. These are not just any toys, they are the building blocks of modern technology. China controls a massive chunk of the world's supply of these essential materials used in everything from smartphones and electric cars to fighter jets and wind turbines. This control gives them significant leverage. China's message is clear, mess with our chips and we'll mess with your entire supply chain. This isn't just a simple tit for tat, it's a calculated risk that could disrupt global markets. It's a high stakes game of economic chicken and nobody knows who'll blink first. The tension is palpable, and the stakes couldn't be higher. But before we dive into the potential fallout, let's take a step back and understand why these tiny chips are causing such a big global ruckus. These microchips are the heart of modern electronics and their scarcity can cripple industries. From the smartphones in our pockets to the advanced systems in our cars, these chips are indispensable. A disruption in their supply can lead to production halts, job losses and economic downturns. Economists are already predicting a ripple effect that could impact everything from consumer electronics to national security. The global economy is more interconnected than ever, and a single disruption can have cascading effects. World leaders are now scrambling to find a solution, but the path forward is fraught with challenges. Negotiations are tense and the outcome is uncertain. The importance of these chips cannot be overstated. They are the lifeblood of countless industries and their availability is crucial for technological advancement and economic stability. Time is of the essence and the world is watching closely. The next moves by China and its adversaries will shape the future of global trade and technology. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this unfolding story, exploring the complexities and potential outcomes of this high-stakes economic standoff. Why all this fuss over some tiny computer chips because these aren't your grandma's Atari cartridges? We're talking about the brains behind artificial intelligence, 5G networks, and next-generation military tech. Whoever controls these chips controls the future of technology, and right now, that's looking like a two-horse race between the US and China. The US, along with its allies like Japan, wants to maintain its tech dominance and prevent China from gaining a strategic advantage. China, on the other hand, sees becoming a tech powerhouse as crucial for its economic growth and global influence. 
This chip war is about more than just semiconductors. It's about national security, economic power, and the future of the global order. So how did Japan get dragged into this silicon showdown? Decoding the chip war. Why are semiconductors so crucial? Let's break it down. Semiconductors are basically tiny electrical switches that form the building blocks of all modern electronics. They're in your phone, your laptop, your car, even your refrigerator. Think of them like the flour in a bakery. You can't make bread without flour and you can't make a smartphone without semiconductors. The more advanced the chip, the more powerful and efficient the device. And right now the US and its allies are leading the charge in developing these cutting-edge chips. China, however, is playing catch-up. They're investing heavily in their domestic chip industry, but they're still reliant on foreign equipment and expertise. That's where Japan comes in. Japan's balancing act, navigating as China. Tensions. Japan finds itself in a tricky position. On the one hand, they have close economic ties with China. On the other hand, they're a key US ally and share concerns about China's growing tech ambitions. It's like being stuck in a family drama where your mom wants you to side with her, but your best friend is on your dad's side. Japan's decision to join the US in restricting chip exports to China is a clear sign that they're prioritizing their alliance with the US, but it comes at a cost. China is Japan's largest trading partner, and any economic retaliation from Beijing could have serious consequences for the Japanese economy. So what's next for China? Will they back down or will they double down on their tech ambitions? China's tech ambitions are forced to be reckoned with. Despite the chip blockade, China has no intention of slowing down. Its tech ambitions, they're pouring billions into research and development, attracting top talent and building their own domestic chip-making capabilities. It's like training for the Olympics while your rivals are trying to hide your running shoes. It's a setback but it's not stopping them from reaching the finish line. China's goal is to become technologically self-sufficient so they're no longer reliant on foreign countries for crucial components like semiconductors. This Made in China 2025 plan, as it's called, aims to transform China from a manufacturing giant into a global innovation leader, but this tech race has consequences that extend far beyond China and the US. The global impact brace for economic shockwaves the chip war isn't just a spat between superpowers, it's sending shockwaves through the global economy. This conflict is more than just a headline. It's a seismic event that could reshape the financial landscape for years to come. Remember those rare earth minerals we talked about? These minerals are the backbone of modern technology, essential for everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. China's potential retaliation could disrupt supply chains for everything from smartphones to electric cars. Imagine the cascading effects on industries that rely on these critical components. Imagine a world where your new iPhone costs twice as much, or you have to wait a year for a new Tesla. The consumer market would be turned upside down, affecting not just tech enthusiasts, but everyday users. That's the potential reality if this chip war escalates. The ripple effects could lead to empty store shelves and skyrocketing prices creating. A consumer crisis. Businesses around the world are scrambling to diversify their supply chains and reduce their reliance on China. Companies are urgently seeking alternative sources and partners to mitigate risks. Governments are investing billions in domestic chip production to avoid being hostage to geopolitical tensions. This includes building new semiconductor plants and fostering innovation in the tech sector. The chip war is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world and the potential for economic disruption in a globalized economy. It highlights how a conflict in one sector can have far-reaching consequences across the globe. So, what's next in this high-stakes tech drama? As the world watches, the outcome of this conflict will shape the future of technology and global trade. Stay tuned as we continue to monitor this unfolding story. What's next in the chip war? Prepare for more twists and turns. The chip war is a complex and ever-evolving battle, with each side constantly strategizing and adapting to new developments. Just when you think you have a grasp on the uh, situation, another unexpected twist emerges. Predicting the future of the chip war is like trying to predict the plot of a Christopher Nolan movie. Expect the unexpected. The intricate web of alliances, economic policies and technological advancements makes it nearly impossible to foresee the next move. One thing's for sure, this is far from over. 
The stakes are too high, and the players involved are too determined to back down. This is a long-term conflict that will shape the future of global technology for years to come. The US and its allies are likely to continue. Tightening restrictions on China, implementing more stringent export controls and investing in their own semiconductor industries to reduce dependency on Chinese technology. Meanwhile, China will continue to invest heavily in its domestic chip industry, pouring resources into research and development to achieve self-sufficiency and reduce reliance on foreign technology. We could see more economic retaliation, espionage and covert operations as both sides try to gain an advantage. The battle for technological supremacy is not just fought in boardrooms and factories, but also in the shadows, and even cyber attacks as both sides try to gain an advantage. Cybersecurity will become an even more critical battleground, with each side attempting to disrupt the other's technological infrastructure. The stakes are incredibly high, with trillions of dollars and national security on the line. Every move is calculated, and the pressure is immense. The outcome of this chip war will have profound implications for the future of technology, the global economy, and the balance of power in the world. The ripple effects will be felt across industries and borders, and the balance of power in the world. Nations will align themselves based on technological capabilities, and military strategies will increasingly incorporate advanced tech. But one thing is clear, the future of tech is up for grabs, and the race to dominate the semiconductor industry is more intense than ever. Innovation will be the key to gaining an edge, and the competition is fierce. Companies and countries alike are vying for the top spot, and the outcome will determine the technological landscape for decades to come. The future of tech. A new world order emerges. The chip war is a symptom of a larger shift happening in the world, the rise of China, and the challenge it poses to the existing global order. For decades, the US has been the undisputed leader in technology, but China's rapid rise is changing that. This competition isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can drive innovation, lower prices, and benefit consumers worldwide. But it also creates tension, uncertainty, and the potential for conflict. The future of technology is likely to be defined by this competition between the US and China, a multipolar world where no single country holds all the cards. Join the discussion, your thoughts on the chip war. So there you have it. The chip war, a story of geopolitical intrigue, economic uncertainty, and the future of technology. What do you think? Is China's tech ambition a threat, or is it healthy competition? Who do you think will come out on top in this chip war? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, what other tech topics would you like us to cover? Hit us with your suggestions for future videos. Until next time, stay curious. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.